Happy to be joined. It's Jim White alongside Marcus Shamad. And uh, Marcus, we've got the best seat in the house for this one. Marco Teuscher against Chang, two very good players. Teuscher, you'll know pretty well. European player making his home in New Zealand now. And obviously Chang, well, he's got a world title under his belt. Yeah, two, like, like uh, nice to see you again, Jim. Uh, and what a match to, to start this uh, week here in Puerto Rico and what an amazing venue. Uh, Predator is, is inviting us to here. Yeah, it's an amazing country. If you ever want to come for a holiday, you might want to put this on your radar. It's just beautiful. Everything here, island time. That's what they say. <laughs> so it's the Puerto Rico Open, 10 ball, race to four, best two out of three sets. And yeah. yeah, and if, the, if it's uh, one, one uh, set apiece, then he's going to force the shootout, which will happen this week for sure. We just, it's just a matter of time when they're going to go to shoot up because these players are so good now and uh, the games are uh, so short, it's going to come up uh, well where they split one set apiece. Yeah, Marcus, I've already been warned about you when it goes to into a shootout <laughs> too. That I've got I've to try and you call her. Call, you call me down here, Billy. The, they can hear you in the rooms <laughs> next door. So Shang here is a... Uh, really steady player i mean obviously i played him a couple times i think throughout my career and also marco teuscher he's from from holland i played him in in the euro tours and stuff so two really good steady players obviously uh shang have a, a world title on his, his belt like you said earlier so i guess we gotta favor him in this match yeah last time the world eight ball championships were played back in i believe it's 2012 Chang was the was the winner. Oh, well, that'll spot back up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chang wants nothing to do with this shot. Well, Marco will stay at the table. And so again, they've, they've had a little time to practice, haven't they, Marcus? We're a little bit late starting, just getting through a few of the technical glitches. I think the internet was down. Here, another look at it. We get a lot of replays here, too. Now, he, this is one of those instances he probably wishes it was nine ball. Sadly for Marco, it's not. So Marco, he's playing for New Zealand nowadays. Uh, well, he's... It's the Dutch flag on his, on his name there. But he's wearing a shirt from New Zealand. I guess he's married over there and uh, uh, watch out. That's not what you want to do. Yeah, Marco, he, uh, he lives over there. Uh, and I don't know what kind of, uh, uh, what kind of practice and how much tournaments he gets to play there. What's it's be exciting to see where his game is at the, at the, at the moment. You know. Well, he's been there about five years. Like you say, I don't know a lot about New Zealand, what sort of association they might have or tournaments he'd be able to play in to get the quality practice that's going to bring him into events like this in a good stead. Mm. Well, you can see Chang trying to get over, probably looking at that 310 combination here. He'd like to have been a little closer to that three and more in line with the shot. High risk now, though, Marcus. Yeah. Let me see what he's select to do here. Call extension here. So he's banking the three. At the same time, probably he's going to cover the cue ball behind these cluster balls here. And quickly, Marco grabs the jump cue. So you'd expect him to hit this. He'd expect to get it. All these players so adept at jumping now. Mm -hmm. You expect him to make it? Definitely. Nice one. 
stage. Yeah, now, excuse me, sorry, uh, Jim. Nowadays, you, you really need to play the safe. It's more cute, like unlike before. You know, now they, like you said, the jump jumps are so good at jumping. Yeah, equipment has improved so yeah. much. I mean, the uh, Predator, in fact, have come out with so many different cues, the jump cues, the break cues. Uh, I mean, the game's tough enough. Uh, you talk about acute safeties. <laughs> I think this is uh, this fits the bill. Yes. Yeah, I mean the, the two-way shot that Chang played. It's uh, it's a good sh uh, shot, but I think you really need to uh, like he really need to cover that that uh, ball behind the four closer. And Marcus, have you had a chance to look around the venue? What a spectacular venue! Mm. The Amazing. ballroom is here at the convention center. Mm -hmm. and yeah, a foul. Yeah. It's great. Foul, ball in hand now to Marco. We'll see if he can navigate his way through these because they're there for the taking. This is just about cue ball control. Still early days Ooh. though and the nerves. It's really close to touching this nine ball. Huh? I don't know why he don't shoot the four. In. No, he doesn't go in the corner maybe. Oh, that he missed. Yeah, I mean, uh, Toysher, he's in that age to where he, at this moment, as much as he plays, he should be in his peak, in my opinion. But that's why I'm questioning, wha what is he doing over there in uh, New Zealand? Is it improving him as much as it would as staying in, in Holland? I don't know. Not likely. Because he'd be oh. playing the European Tour yeah. and against all the best players. Yeah. So, yeah, not likely. That's probably the best schooling you can have, playing the Euro Tours and playing all the, the Dutch guys and the European guys. There's so many good players now. bit too soft I think or did he get there yeah, he was trying to will that cue ball on but he didn't quite get cover so again similar sort of shot now for for Chang unless he can see it does look like he can see enough to try and bank this so just flick the edge of that four oh well, maybe he can see enough to bank it very close made it yeah there's your answer nice. And that mistake is going to be punished, I feel, for Marco. He's such a solid game, uh, Shang, you know. He moves that cue ball just, 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 just enough where he needs to move it. Steady. Predator tables at times not that sympathetic. You gotta be very accurate. Watch out. Oh, he kind of lost the cue ball a little bit there. I spoke too soon, saying how good he <laughs> controls that cue ball. He's gonna have to come with a shot now, Marcus, if he wants to stay at the table. Let's see what he. Uh, looking to cut this in right down the bottom rail. He's drawing it. Watch out. Scratch in the side. Wow. What a let off. A major let off. The opening rack. Some early mistakes from both players in the beginning. Obviously, it's the first, the very first games here. Have you played any tournament lately, Jim? <laughs> Pool? Yeah, yeah, then I woke up, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I'll tell you what, I remember when you played a tournament last time. Okay. Derby. 
You remember who you played then? You're right. <laughs> I, I, I actually lost to the Reyes. Gold, the gold. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it. My friend was saying, you know what's happening? Jim is playing the tournament. Oh, that's nice. Good for him. He played a few wrecks. Then all of a sudden, you see all the crowd going over to one table. And you were hill-hill with Efren, right? Yeah, I, uh, I actually missed the nine. I, uh, I played a snooker shot from the eight to the nine and uh, tried to play uh, position the way a snooker player would play position from the eight to nine. But, uh, you know, something I at no time was, uh, was I going to win that match, Marcus. Okay. It was just a match. So you let, you let him <laughs> off, you mean? Yeah, yeah, I <laughs> let him <laughs> off. You made it look good? <laughs> I figured he had a better chance to go deep in the tournament <laughs> than me. That was fun, though. That, that was fun. I've, I've, I actually have played in the Derby City Classic twice and cash both times. Oh, so good. that's good. Yeah, I've had a bit of fun there. Undercover player. Undercover, <laughs> yeah. Never hit the radar. So the break here, Jim, is, is uh, difficult. Um, I see in the last Predator tournaments, it's a really tough to, to find a ball that's going in every time. It's making a one on the side. I think he's going to get a good good look at this table. Yeah, that was a major let off from Chang in the last one. And we'll see if Marco can carry that momentum through because he's got every chance, as you said. This is a good lay. Balls are all in the open. He's got, again, lasso his nerves. Still early. And it wasn't so much him winning the last rack as Chang losing it. Okay, though. Yeah, with this new cloth too, Marcus, it's always tricky, isn't it? It's very mm -hmm. slippery. And you'll see a lot of times players will lose the cue ball. These are not club conditions these players are playing on. With this brand new cloth, brand new table, brand new balls, everything a little slippery. So how, how is it in snooker when they play the tournaments? Same. Uh, yeah, same. Same, yeah. yeah. When, when you uh, go to a venue and you get to the TV stages, all brand new tables, brand new cloth, everything slides. It's, it's all, that's where the fundamentals come in. Mm -hmm. All the hours of practice that these players put in, it's all about muscle memory. You know, get that back arm to do what it's been trained to do. And it's all focus and just maintaining that high high level of concentration, you know, you've, yeah, you've yeah. played at this level for many yeah. years. Yeah. Like practice is great, but practice is as much just getting you, re getting you ready mentally as anything else. You want to be confident in, in how you're playing. Yeah, you need to get used to a lot of different equipment. Like you, you shouldn't just play on one particular table or particular cloth. You need to be playing on all different kind of uh, equipment. Then it's easier to adapt. Oh, no. It's a mistake here. Yeah, Marco's made a few mistakes. That was an open pot. And again, uh, at, at this level, you know, those are going to get punished. Chang let him off in the opening rack. I don't think he's going to let him off again. Let's see if he's going to come up to, to shoot the 7-9, you think? Or, or can he... Cut it thinner and shoot the seven past the, the eight. Yeah, that's what he selected to do. Got to be a little careful here. Yep. Again, he's he's going to be rolling this, so got to stay steady, stay still. Uh, good stroke into the heart of the pocket. Yeah, there was no way he was going to let Marco off for that mistake. And again, short races, race to four, best two out of three. And if it goes 1-1, one, one, well, that's when you move to the edge of your seat. But Chang has leveled it up, one rack apiece. 
Our opening set. Shang with opportunity. He, I don't think he he was guessing he was gonna get. He was hoping probably. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of rain here this morning, walking over, but just so moderate the temperatures. Even flying in yesterday, it's so green. You know, up in uh, Toronto, it was I had quite a choice to make, Marcus. Mm -hmm. It was stay home and shovel snow, or come down here and work <laughs> on my tan. <laughs> <laughs> Tough choice, right? Tough choice. <laughs> we haven't had snow yet in Sweden, but it's it's, it's close. It's just a matter of a few days here and there. Well, I went from, uh, I guess, in terms of Celsius, it was it's minus two in Toronto right now. And oh. It's probably about 27, 28 degrees outside here. Mm. So that's about 80, 80 plus in Fahrenheit. Watch out, cue ball. Scratched. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lost cue ball. So momentum changing chairs yet again. Speaking to the referee, I think he's asking about the, the shot clock. First shot, you got 60 seconds, then, uh, then it's 30. On these TV tables here. Yeah, we're on TV table number two. There's another match going on right alongside us. and. I mean, we've got an international team of commentators mm -hmm. this week. Mark White, who I've met for the first time, and I'll tell you what, what a, what an, <laughs> what a, an <laughs> asset that man is. <laughs> he's just, he's, he gives me energy just being close to him. Yeah, yeah. He's, it reminds me a little of you, actually, <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> <It's okay>. Yeah. <laughs> and Tim DeRoyer, he's yeah. going to be involved as well. And then we've got Tony Robles, one mm -hmm. of the nicest people you'll ever meet. Yeah, yeah. One of the it's gentlemen of the sport. It's a, ni it's a nice team. International. Whoa, did he get there? Yeah. I don't think he can make it, Jim, does he? It's close. He's having a real good look at it. Our overhead camera never really gives you a good look. can be a bit deceptive, but it's close. Mm -hmm. That shot gives you a little better angle. Looks like he's, yeah, he's got it. He's got it. Beautiful. It's not easy out here, and you have to... Make sure he gets on the right angles. Definitely here from from the four to the five. Either he can come to the middle of the table or all, all the way down to where the cube is now. That's probably where he wanted to be, if possible. Clear the eight. Watch out. No. no I'm not too sure about uh, this one. No good. Yeah, he's just fighting it a little bit, hmm. Marco, right now. No, he's had opportunities, and he'd be the first to tell you. Nice shot. Wow. Wow. Yeah, Fully deserving good, yeah. of that. Nice little touch, a little bit of love on the seven to hold position to the six. Shot of the match so far. By far. Yeah, he was on the Dutch uh, national team before he, he went to New Zealand, uh, Jim. Uh, you know, you play the European Championships, always three or four in, the, in, e in each team. You play one set of nine ball, we used to play one set of uh, eight ball, and you play one set of ten ball. Nine ball, eight ball, nine ball, ten ball. Then you play uh, the one who wins two games, is uh, the winner of each team match. And last time in the European Championships where I played, uh, he was in the team. He played together with um, uh, Vandenberg and Nils, Nils yeah. and uh, Bisteboch. So he's he's right up there, where uh, the level where where they at. Yeah. 
Oh no. Boy, he has he has had his chances. You know, not easy to live in the present. That's the key to success. Almost in any sport, you've really got to forget what you've done. You can't change it. He hasn't left anything easy for Chang here, but I'm sure Chang's happy to be getting out of his chair. When you shoot a shot like this, Jim, for example, if you play it, uh, how, how do you... A shot like this, you would never shoot on a, on a, oh, that's not good. You're never gonna shoot it on a, on a snooker table, right? Down the, down the rail, right? No, no. In a million years. No, you're, uh, you're looking. So how do you like aiming? It's a totally different aim, right? For you. Well, yeah, you're almost aiming before you set up. You know, you, yeah. you start lining yourself before you even put your bridge hand down because you know you're not attacking. But again, in pool, the shot that he had there yeah, it was very tough. Obviously. Very tough. Yeah, yeah. And he's almost forced because what else is he going to do? Yeah, there was no other shot on. I was just thinking from snooker to pool, some shots you don't even go for in snooker. But here is it's automatic, like that shot. You, there was nothing else than to shoot it. So the mindset is totally different. Okay, 9 and 10 left. Well, he survived yet another mistake. And it's Marco Teutcher leading two racks to one over the reigning world eight ball champion. And a chance to increase the lead here. He's been breaking good. Yeah. <coughs> Shang has been struggling too. He's, he, he scratched on the break, the last one. Yeah, you look around the venue, you can see just above the table two here that we're commentating on, you can see everything going on all around. There's juniors, women are playing, mm -hmm. and all week, we're here nine days here in the beautiful, beautiful city of San Juan in Puerto Rico. And then we'll be soaking it in. Venue is amazing, and I broke my cue, Jed. Well, that's <laughs> we were talking about that. I saw a couple <laughs> of forfeits there, and I'm thinking, <laughs> well, we're going to send Marcus, never mind this commentary, we're going to send him out there and try and see if we can get the beer money. <laughs> Rack number four, Teutcher looking to continue on. No, unless this nine finds the pocket. He's trying to lean it in, but nothing. No joy. So you see the break, Jim, is not super easy, right? No. Be far no from it. Never is in yeah. 10 ball, is it? Well, when you use a template, usually it's much easier. But well here we use the, the nice predator rack, the new rack, new balls, the, the predator tables. Nice one. Yeah, great opening shot from Chang there. He needs to do some confidence building shooting here, Marcus. He's got to get a little bit of momentum back on his side, try and rest that away from Marco. Because really he's been the, the benefactor right now of his own misfortune, just missed opportunities. Yeah, so throughout the years, you've been commentating on a lot of, uh, I know for sure, since I've known you for many, many years, maybe 20 years probably, uh, commentating on a lot of uh, Taiwanese players. I mean, and I obviously I play them throughout the years, and they're just so steady, aren't they? Wow, from from the technique you. and, uh, you know. And getting younger. Yeah. There's so many good ones coming up. You know, I've it's it's been almost two and a half years since I've done an event live. Like this last one I did, I think was uh, the Predator and in, in at the Rio mm -hmm. in Las Vegas. And okay, I, I think that it'll be three years in March. Mm. So um, I feel like I've been away from the the game for almost five years with the amount of great players that are there. The, their names I see, and I'm waiting for the player bios to come out so I can get caught up on these mm -hmm. guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you will. 
Yeah, but I mean, uh, you remember the years in Cardiff, you know, oh, when, when, they, yeah. when the Taiwanese, uh, you know, first was, uh, what's his name? He played Efren in the final of the World Championships. There's uh, Glasses, what's his name again? Uh, the Taiwanese player? Yeah. Well, I remember the one that uh, that Alex beat, Chang, in the final. That was in uh, in Taiwan. Different Chang to the one Fao we see. Fao Peng Chang. Fao Peng Chang. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The world champion. Cold, cold face kill. Yeah, cold face kill, yeah. He won the world championship in 2003, I think. Fong Peng Chao, yeah, that's Fong right. But now, so many, that, I mean, Ko Pin Yi and his brother. Chang has been around, I don't know, for, for years. Uh, Jim, Jung Ling, he's been around for, for years now. Good shot here, good control of the cue ball. He'd like to have got that cue ball a little further off that side rail though because he's got very little angle with which to work on the six. So he's gonna have to keep that cue ball near the cushion. Ooh, pinch the pocket <laughs> a little bit. Got away from that cushion a little further than I thought he was going to be able to. The tough part about playing them is you, you don't get any emotion, pretty much. They're like stone face killers, all of them. They just go, ab go about in, in, in their business. Oh, he d what he done there? Well, one thing about it, if he cuts this eight in, the cue ball is going to be tracking down towards the 10, so he can just focus on the alignment, the spot he wants to contact that eight. Nice shot, come around. Wow, that was a good shot. And his confidence needed that. Marcus, that was a good clearance. Yeah. Very nice. good clearance after the break from Marco Teuscher. That, uh, that's exactly what Chang needed. This was a good eight, running it around the back of the 10. Good speed. And I feel a very just score line at 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, it reflects on the game yep. the way it's been so far. Another time when he's played, it was I know uh, I got a question for you, Jim. I know you were looking at some some odds before the Cardiff, right? A few years he was the betting favorite for the win the World Championships. In was Cardiff? The, yeah, a few years, two three years I think he was betting favorite. He never won the Cardiff though. Yang. Yang. Yeah. Yes. Terrific. Yeah. Terrific. I mean, ideal fundamentals. Yeah. Wow, yeah, you're right about him. He was the betting favorite like yeah. two or three years. He never I won. Think, uh, he, I think he got to the semifinal one, yeah. one or two times. Earl stopped him that one year. <laughs> yeah, he was he was solid, rock solid. What happened to him, uh, Marcus? I he's think he's still I think he's still playing, but he's not he's not here. Obviously, he's getting older as well. Yang Chin Chun, amazing player, good money player too. Oh yeah. A long look at the one, hampered, slightly hampered bridging over the 10. And it's a thin cut, so trying to keep the cue ball near the two, not going to be easy. Just make sure you make it with a good pace. And I think it's going to be okay on the two, I think. Just don't hit it too hard. Two two, Marco. You can't be hanging your head yet. Let's see if Chang is gonna go aggressive, or is he playing safe? Safety it is. Is it enough? No, that's not good. So I wonder if they, they don't have the speed down as of now on the table. Yeah, they're both yeah. still playing a little edgy pool. 
and you know it's gonna it's gonna improve. You know yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. It's just a matter of speed, I guess, on the table because you you see that safety shot. Shang was kind of way off. Yeah, he's he had a wall of colors yeah. to try and hide behind yeah. there. But he probably caught the one a bit too thick too. I think Marcus, a little thinner would have been better. Cue ball would have been a little further behind those colors. So if he can, I think he should try to cut it if he if he can. Over cut it. Didn't leave much though. Chang with a safety. Let's see if he's gonna try to bring the cube, the one ball down table, and the cube behind the eight. So it's not much else he can do, I guess. Okay, it's a good shot. I see a lot of these players, Marcus, are you using one of the composite shafts like a lot of them now too? No, I, d I tried it, but it it's, uh, needs a lot of time and practice for it to get used to it. And I, I just don't have, have that time. I mean, I, I play with a low deflection shaft, but still uh, it's too much for me <laughs> at the moment <laughs> to handle. I see so many of the top players using them now. Mm -hmm. nice, nice bank there from Marco. Yeah, it's he it doesn't. I mean, you can see players like uh, Filler, for example. He doesn't use it. Yeah. Uh, Kachi. He also play with with uh, wood. So it's not for everyone. You know, it depends on what kind of style of play I think you play. One more good shot, really, from Marco here. Cue ball is going to be heading right over towards the side of the table that the four is on. Mm -hmm. So if he lands on that four, where everything else is sitting, he should have laid the foundation for a victory in this rack. Nice one. Perfect speed. Close to his work. Whoa. <laughs> Playing with fire. So let's see what he's gonna. The six ball is not laying super easy, see, Jim? Because it's. Uh, the path down to the seven is, is kind of uh, tricky. He's got to land good on this six. And he tried to spin that. It's been a lot of mistakes for Marco Teutcher and. Yeah, usually you're not, you can't afford to do mistakes like this against class player like Chang because he is class in my opinion
Oh no. Yeah, neither player has found their form yet. Maybe he, he had half a bucket there, so I guess he he over uh, those long straight ones too, Marcus. Yeah. Those are the kind that uh, they're all just delivering the cue, aren't they? Just fundamentals. You know, you deliver the cue straight, stay still. Assuming you, you you've aligned yourself properly. And then you can never discount the pressure of the situation either. And well, that would have been a frame winner or a rack winner. Down goes the 10. It's 3 to 2 in favor of Marco Toysha from Holland, now resides in New Zealand. Uh, yeah, it's a colorful event, this. I like it. Puerto Rico, look at it. Madela is the, is the beer <laughs> sponsor. <laughs> <and> stuff. <laughs> Nothing like having a beer sponsor. <laughs> Madela Light, I gotta try one later. Yeah, it's pretty good beer. I had one last night. Okay. A bunch of us got together at one of the restaurants near the hotel. And uh, I mean, the players have been promoting this and uh, Karim Belhaj from Predator has, has just been, probably has slept in all the days leading up to this. He's a workaholic to begin with. And, you know, Ozzy, pardon me, Ozzy Reynolds here from Las Vegas, CSI. These guys. As I was saying, these guys have just done a ton of work, haven't they, leading up to this event. So much, so many moving parts, putting events like this together. Well, as I said, you've got the women involved, the juniors, the men. Marco Breakin leading 3-2. And a dry break. Oh, the break hasn't been kind. This is going to be the story here. Uh Jim, it's gonna it's gonna be tough to break, and I've seen it in the, these predator events. The break is tough. It's gonna leave opportunities. You get you're gonna get your chance to 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 play, to show your uh, abilities. That's what I like. I like it. Unfortunately, I'm not playing much nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> you, get ch you get a chance to <laughs> show you can show your abilities at the bar today. <laughs> I still love this game, though, Jim. I can't help but I like the people. I, I, I see you here again. Uh, you know, I mean, it's, be, it's been uh, years, and, and uh, I love it. I have passion for it still. It I'm going to be around the game. It's in your blood. Yeah. You, you never lose it. I mean, I, I've been away from, you know, competitive Q sports for a lot longer than you, believe me. The mid-'90s, my, my last year competing, and you, you just never get tired of it. You get around the, the people. They're, they're all genuine people, you mm -hmm. know. There's... There's not enough money in the sport yet for it to be pretentious and, you know, let's, let's, but I'll tell you, right now, and I was saying this to a few of the guys, Ralph Souquet and a couple of the older guard that I've known for a long time, Torsten was with him, just there's never been a better time to be a pool player right now. Now and now is the time. Well, there's the 410 combination in 3-3, three, three, so we're going to see Chang with the break. Break and try to close this first set out with the chance. Never been a better time though, Marcus. Mm -hmm. Pool is on the rise and you're gonna see a lot more events in Puerto Rico. Yeah. If Pre Karim, if Predator Karim putting anything. on these events and Matchroom putting on their events. Uh, I'm workaholic now. Well, <laughs> they're they're raising the bar, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, it's, ama it's amazing. They're I'm pushing each other and, and I mean, the players are the beneficiaries. Yeah, I'm gonna have one goal now. This, this, if, if they Predator put on this event next year, I'm going to make an effort to really practice up and um, play in it. It, it. This is amazing. I just want to be a part of it, you know what I mean? It's it's nice. Well, I hadn't seen Marcus, folks. I hadn't seen Marcus in a few years, and when I saw him, he's wearing glasses, and I told him he was cheating. <laughs> I can see now. I can see the light. Okay, let's see the break here. Three apiece, first of four. Took some speed off. 
This might be a gap here. Well, he might be able to get through to the two. I don't know whether he can see enough to try and clip it in. No, there's no gap. Three is tied up with a seven, eight. Yeah, you can see Marco's grabbing his cue. He feels like he's going to be coming to the table. So push out from Shang here. Well, he's coming to the table to have a look anyway, whether or not he's going to shoot it. I'll probably give this back, I think. There's no real yeah, he any didn't value. He I he mean, it's not like you're going to cover... He uh, might be able to. I think that walk to the table was just to get out of the chair for a mm, couple seconds. Mm, yeah. Oh, nice shot. That's a nice cut, huh? Yeah, he's going to have to find some cover, though. Let's All see that what does he is buys him a little bit more table time. Let's see if he can. Uh, let's see what he's gonna do here. You see, you can clip the three real thin, and then maybe bring the cue ball here. But then you're gonna lose the three ball. Let's see what Shang is gonna select to do. Yeah, he doesn't want to leave a look at the three too, because he knows that three gonna be hanging around that bottom corner pocket. So we'll see how he decides to play safe here. Oh, what, huh? a, what a touch. Yeah. What a touch. He knew the seven was going to hold the three behind the eight, but he still needed a very thin clip on that three. Yeah, Marco's in trouble. You got to make sure you get contact. If he gets contact on the left side of the three, from our view, I think he can uh, leave the three ball kind of safe. Nice. Uh, do you travel enough? Uh, he's having a good look at it mm -hmm. right before he lets Chang come in to have a look. It's close. It was a good kick. I, I really like the kick. It was nice. Yeah, he might be able to just spin this enough to be able to make that three. Position not guaranteed. Caught it thick. Ooh. Well, he's caught it thick, <laughs> fluked it, but it's it's call shot, obviously, the rules in 10 balls. So the option now falls to Marco. And unless there's a four or five combination there, and there might be. He's looking at it. This is a chance. Yeah, must not be enough of that four sticking out to get that five. So he's brought Chang back to the table. It took some time though. He's, I guess his uh, Marco is not 100% that he wanted to give it back. There might be a combo on there. Surely he would have shoot it if he can see it. I think he was trying to play safe, no? I think so, because the common, I don't think the combo go out there. I think he was trying to play a cue ball up here. High to four. It's not over yet, though, this, this rack. Safety. Whoa. Did he get there? Oh, it's close. No, he might just be able to hit this one, make it in the corner pocket. He's just called it the bottom right corner. 
So again, another mistake from Marco there. Shang Yun Ling. Not an easy shot. Oh, he's kicking. Oh, he is kicking. He still called the corner pocket. Wow. Nice contact from him. Tap with a Q from Marco means really nice shot, he says, in uh, billiards uh, signs. So ra he maybe he can go rail first. Nice. Watch out, though. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Some drama here, <laughs> Jim Early. Well, the balls are there now. Let's see if Marco can rein in his nerves. He's rolled it in nice, or he's going to follow it? No, he'll go around the table to play this off two cushions. Get back over for the six. Watch out. Well, he's a little fortunate there, Marcus, because this wasn't the intended pocket. Yeah. And he might even have the angle to get the cue ball towards the middle of the table for the seven. So it's worked out real well. That was the six. Good angle on the seven. It's all there for him. But it feels like the, the, the look of this match so far, nothing is over. Been opportunities back and forth, right? Yeah, they both showed signs of succumbing to the pressure. And nothing short of pressure is going to stop Marco Teuscher from winning this first set. If this was on the practice table, he could play these one handed. Oh, wow. Would you believe it? Unbelievable. Anybody at home that doesn't think there's pressure playing world-class pool? You just saw the replay again. Shocking. Straining eight, draw it back. Oh. And it's not <laughs> over yet. <laughs> Don't Some early drama here. This Don't go <laughs> home. <laughs> this is just the first day of this week, Jim. Going to be a few more gray hairs when we leave <laughs> here. Cut on the line. Just make sure you make it, which is not easy. He made it. Well Long he's tempo. Yeah, he's leaving himself a missable 10 to win the first set and it was gift wrap the first set if he gets it this 10 dead into the yeah. pocket Chang survives the scare Marco Teutcher he must feel like he won the lottery getting a ch opportunity back there at the table well Christmas come early a horrible miss on the eight. Oh. And it's given the first set to Chang. 4-3. And our ref is going to rack the balls for the second set. And how does Marco Teutcher get all those negative thoughts out of his head? Yeah, you need to regroup from this. That eight ball was obviously a mistake. Just, just shake it off. Easy to say, but tough to do. No, exactly right. Still a good 10 ball that Chang buried to take that opener. Our referee ensuring that it's a tight rack. The ball placed, so now the order of the day 
with the young man now calling New Zealand home. <coughs> he's had his chances. He knows he should have won the opening set. But he's not out of it yet. A little venom in that break. He's turning on to a nightmare for him. Boy, oh boy. That's not what you want to start the second set with doing. So Shang with a ball in hand, the first game in the second set. Obviously, some drama in the end of the first. Let's see if he can start to get the, the speed down better. Sec because obviously he made some mistake as well the first set, Jim. It wasn't it wasn't the type of set that either one of these players are capable of playing. But Marco, we. S for Marcus, we say it so often, and Marco's got to try and pull himself back. But it never really says how, just who. Just draw this back for the six. out he lost the cue ball again <laughs> wow yeah, these are the sort of things the Chang has been battling the cue ball control and the speed he's been losing the cue a little bit and here's another or did he just cut it a little bit thin yeah. either, either, either one of it I'm not too sure if he was trying to hold to play the seven in the corner or trying to get behind it He's trying to maintain the initiative with a good safety. Mm -hmm. And he's done that. It's not easy for Marco. Because the seven is almost froze there on the rail. Uh, tell you what, I have no clue what to do from here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't call the shot. <laughs> Obviously, it's a, some kind of safety, but I don't know. Very tough. You have to thin it like a snooker way, right? Well, a thin Super hit. Super I mean thin, if yeah. If you can put distance between the cue ball and the object ball, if you can get, if you can hit it thin as you're suggesting to try and get the cue ball back down towards the area it is now, that would be ideal. Try and find cover behind one of these. Oh, he's cut it way too thick. And then he's left it. Way too thick or way too slow if he was just trying to bank the seven up to the the bottom rail. And he was well short of speed there too. Nice shot there. He made it look easy. That wasn't too easy. I mean, obviously, a player of his, cal his caliber is capable of just uh, running rack after rack after rack. Secures the opener. In the second set, already won the first set. Marco Teutscher trying to win the second set here to give us a shootout. But he is going to have to, he's got to find his form to be able to provide us with that. And so far, he's shown us nothing to believe that he can get there. Look around the room. A lot of matches going on. A lot of world champions in attendance. Let's see if we can give you an update on some of the scores. Let's see who's playing out there. I know I saw Mika playing. Mika was Mika was getting ready to play. He hadn't started out yet. Mika Imminen, former World Nine Ball champion. I mean Alex Pagalayan, another former World Nine Ball champion. They're all in action. 
Tiger Lions match is yet to start. Let's see if we can give you some scoring updates. Alex Montpellier, 3-2. Up on Gangflot. Radislav Babica, Polish star. Up against Butler Lewis. He's 3-2, Babica. As I said, world champions abound. Homan and Suke, they'll be in action later. Good break that one from Chang. Keeps him at the table with a chance. Yeah, the only shot he's got is shooting with two in the side, but I don't know, he's gonna lose the cue ball. So he's he, he probably gonna try to play a safety here, Jim. If he's not, he's shooting in the side maybe. Leaving distance. You know, with the air conditioning on here too, I mean, it's very warm outside, hot and humid. And I mean, they've got the air conditioning cranked on inside the convention center here. We're in the ballroom, the top floor. And it's, uh, it's pretty chilly out there. And those conditions usually speed a table up. It could play a little faster than, than what it might normally play. I wonder if that's got something to do with these players trying to make the adjustment. Yeah, the, uh, the air is is great here. It would be beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, it's no it's no sticky, no nothing. Perfect. He's just trying to avoid contacting that five. And in so doing, he's left himself a long, much more difficult three than he would have liked and doesn't really offer position to the four. Almost scratched. Watch out, Cubo. So a long three here for Marco, not easy, but at least he's, uh, he's back at the table. Should be happy. Another thing, Marcus and I are about, well, I'm gonna say we're about 40 to 50 feet away from the, the match table. So we can't afford to get too excited, Marcus, can we? <laughs> I got a warning from from uh, <laughs> Nick, Mr. Nick here. <laughs> so <laughs> calm down a little bit. <laughs> and I'll, I'll, I'll try my best here. Just when it gets these shootouts and tight, I know how it feels being there and, uh, you know. Nice shot. Shot. That was a good shot from Marco. Spun it up two rails. I wonder if he's straight in on this, then it makes it tougher because he, he can't really travel closer to the seven. No, exactly right. And being able to get ideal position from the seven to the eight, not easy. He's gonna have to cue this one well. Uh, he's got a kind of bump the nine, I think, or is he drawing a Throwing it two rails, I don't know. Let's see what he's gonna do. Because the eight is. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's he's sort of. You know, not been a memorable outing for Marcus Marco at all. He's uh, he's had so many opportunities that he's let slip away. I mean, he's really caught Chang on a day where he's beatable. Yeah. And he's just not taking advantage. Yeah, I think there he should have just uh, kind of make shoot it kind of soft, bump the nine, and take kind of longer eight because if you're not feeling 110 percent comfortable at the table, it's it's tough to come up with these crazy big shots, you know. But that's that's where experience comes in, and and Marcus, you understand when you know you're fighting it, you're yeah. struggling with form. Yeah. You know, having the experience to to take the shot and, and not try and ask too much of your game because it's just not there. Yeah. That's experience. You know yeah. what they say about experience? It's what you get when you need it. Yeah, it. exactly. Yeah. Sometimes, I mean, obviously, when you're playing like normal or really comfortable, then you can make some all the shots on, on there is to offer you. But the way he so far he's been playing, I feel like he was he was pushing it too much on that on that other shot. But here you have a chance again. Nice cut. Nice bump on the eight, perfect. Yeah, he'll take that. A little bit of a smile, but it was a good shot on the seven, fully deserving of position. He was going to have it whether he hit the eight or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's just made sure he made the seven, was good. Two balls left to tie the second set, one apiece. Confirmed here in San Juan, 1-1 one, one in set number two. Chang and Teutcher. And Marco with the break. So the Predator Billiard Series, series all the way in Puerto Rico. Can you believe it? <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> and Mar and Mar I mean <laughs> Marcus, you came from back home. Yeah. I was a little closer than you. And, uh, yeah. It was still a bit of a flight getting down here, but I mean, you across the Atlantic coming from Sweden, yeah. got in early this morning, and what a trooper you are showing up here, and you know, got the sport <laughs> jacket on, and always looking like the, you're the business. <laughs> no, but it's, it's uh, give me energy to just to come into this country. It's nice. When I flew into Puerto Rico, I mean, what amazing country with nice, friendly people, and I'm really looking forward to this week, seeing a lot of uh, uh, matches here in this beautiful venue. I mean, Marcus, uh, I, I could see you fitting into the island life very <laughs> ni very nicely. <laughs> you bring your cue with you yeah. just in case, but the island is calling. Great place for holidays. It's just like you said, very laid back lifestyle. The food is fantastic. The weather goes without saying. Marcus having a good time with the referee. It's good. That's what you need to change up. You be, have a good time. Smile a little bit. You know, even though he's struggling. Look, look on the bright side. Two balls on the break. Wow. Nice break. How about four balls on the break? Ooh. What a break that was. By far the best of the match. And the balls look like they've rewarded Four balls them too. Break. Wow. Just the first shot open. He wants to come all the way down to the other side of the table, shoot the two in the side pocket. No? Okay. That's good. Now from the five to the six, he's just got to be a little careful. He needs the angle on the five. He's going to have to draw this back. Would be a big swing here, uh, Jim. If he can hold it together, I don't want to be straight in on this. Well, he has to feel that if he ever does find his form, he's been given the opportunities. Oh yeah, a lot of opportunities. Shang's break is not, it's nothing. Marco is breaking better than he is. Uh, 
Perfect. Marco is looking to take the lead here in the second set. And this format creates it's it, more energy. It's never over. We're playing a race nine, it could be at eight one or something. <laughs> then you figure nine out of ten times the, the leader is gonna win the match. But here is any like anybody's game at any time. He can only watch. Wait for an opportunity, hope it comes. Well, it's unlikely it's gonna be coming in this rack. Well, it took 10 racks for us to see a break and clearance provided by Marco Teutscher. And that's why he's 2-1 in front. But he'd like to duplicate the last rack. Like we said, four balls off the break. Beautiful arena though. The lighting, the predator tables. Everything laid out for these players to make their way here to Puerto Rico. Well, looks like we even have the janitor coming to pay a house call. <laughs> so let's see if he can get a good break again. He would love to, wouldn't he? Amazing game, isn't it? Yeah. One minute he breaks, four balls. Puts the cue ball in the same place. Tries to duplicate everything. Gets a ham sandwich. Yeah, that's the strong part about the uh, regular rack. You never know what's gonna happen the next one. If you play with a tap table or a magic rack or template, then you know every time it's gonna be pretty much the same balls going the same way. That's why I like. So he's sticking, kick and stick. Leaving distance. Well, Marcus, you just gave me a new phrase. I like that. Kick, kick and stick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be using that yeah, one, <laughs> and I'll be giving you credit. <laughs> he just wants to have a little bit more time to look at this, calling for the extension. 30-second shot clock here. Jumping and kicking on this. Jumping in short rail, over the three, underneath the one and six. Oh, what and a shot. called that pocket. Wow. Called the side pocket. <laughs> you mentioned it was the shot of the match earlier that we, that he played a jump shot. Well, this has just become the shot of the match. And with some left English from our view. So it's going to be right on his side. Wow. That was a great, uh, unbelievable An shot. An exhibition shot, really. I mean, even he had to shake his head at that one. And now he's got the power of the table, so to say. He can select to play a safety. And he went for it. He's been aggressive, uh, Marco, I think. He's been going for a lot of shots, which is sometimes good, but it could be terrible as well at, 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 as this, this out for Shang. Just having a look at the the lay of the land, everything is there. Doesn't have to do anything too special. Get from the five to the six. Maybe even just get below the eight. 
even run into the eight, he's going to be on the six regardless. But just got to stay over the same side of the table for the seven, Marcus. The Medela Light, Puerto Rico Open, first day, first match, TV match here with Jim White. And we got Chang Yun Lin from Taiwan and Marco Toysha from Holland. And playing on the great predator table now. Do you remember the first time you see them? No? Well, I, I've seen them before, but it uh, looks like they just keep getting better and better. Yeah. I mean, I love the way the pockets are flush. The type of table that, that was being shown to me yesterday, you don't leave any fingerprints, there's no marks on the yeah. tables yeah. at all. So yeah. it's pretty cool, really. They're a real good looking table. They made some improvements. Every tournament they had, they, they tried to improve some, some of the stuff on the table every time. No shirt fouls, though. I'm a big fan of the Predator lighting too. Mm -hmm. You know, you see no shadows under the rails. Everything that uh, that they brought here for the players is giving them no excuses. The conditions are perfect. And Predator making the pockets and Chang filling him. <laughs> and that's the reason it's 2-2. Two, two. Yeah. And he's won the break back. Feels like the players are uh, getting warm. Both of them are uh, playing better, I feel. Yeah, I think uh, the nerves are out of the match yeah. now. And again, another look around the setting here. There's matches going on. As we said, the ladies are in action. Juniors are in action. The Puerto Rican 10-ball open sponsored by Medalla Light. Nice tasting beer. And a very warm country welcoming all these players from all corners of the world. And following this, we've got the World 8 Ball Championship still to look forward to as well. Mm. We're gonna crown uh, champions this week. And the last time the World 8-Ball Championships were played, the man breaking right now was your winner mm -hmm. back in 2012. He's held that title for 10 years. Yeah, it was in Fujera, I think. Fujera in uh, UAE. And a successful break. I think Shang, he's, uh, he's glad to make a ball on the break, I think. Uh, the way he's breaking, he's like, he's cutting it more, kind of. Leaving distance. Well, he knows one thing. He's got a guy coming to the table <laughs> with, a, with a jump cue that is as good as any we've seen. Two shots, which uh, it's been amazing. I mean, the last rack and uh, the first, the very first set, he made a really good jump, sh jump shot as well. Yeah, and he's called the bottom right corner for this two. So once again, Chang has thrown out the gauntlet. We'll see how Teutcher responds. A little tougher this time. He's got to jack up a little higher. Oh, he's, he's <laughs> amazing. Absolutely <laughs> amazing. He's as good with that jump cue as he is with his playing cue. Yeah. Wow. Well, I wonder if Chang is going to take more notes. No point in locking this guy up unless you bury him right up close to the ball. Gets that short cue out. He's deadly. Oh, 
Oh no. I think he's gonna find himself behind either mm. the, the the six or the five. Well, you mentioned earlier he does play very aggressive. That was another example because he could have just knocked that three in and played for a good safety on the four. He was trying to break it open off the two side cushions and he's going to find himself in a bit of trouble now. Oh, he went okay. That's a good shot. He left distance and he, he, he blocked the uh, the easy path for, for kicking. Made contact nicely, nicely done. Long three ball for Shank. Well, he's as steady as they come. Figure him to make it. Just a matter of position for the four. Nice one. Oh, and it looks like the four will drop into that side pocket. And again, doesn't have to do too much with the cue ball to get onto the five, six in the open. Boy, what a good opening shot that was. So Chang, making sure he doesn't foul anything here. open temple that's nice <laughs> I never thought I would be in Puerto Rico <laughs> <laughs> yeah first first time for both of us yeah. here I mean we've been uh, you know you've been coming take this many years in the big tournaments uh, Jim I mean we've been to what Taiwan China everywhere uh, Marcus yeah. haven't we uh, London Ooh, oh there's some drama here Yeah, this is as good a setup as I've seen in, you know, 30 plus years of, of doing television commentary. If it gets any better than this, I haven't seen it. No, I haven't. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. So opportunity for Marco here from nowhere, huh? Miss Q from, from Shang. Watch out, cue ball. Ah, it's okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's like you, you never know what's going to happen here. You know, right? Well, expect the unexpected. Yeah, let's see if Prez is going to have this event next year again when they make the schedule. And I'm definitely coming. I'm definitely coming. I'm with your queue. Yeah, with my queue and, and practiced. Because this place is, uh, this country is really nice, RG. It's just a little awkward, the angle here. I don't know whether he can follow through yeah. and drop on the 10. Uh, Looks like I think he can. I think he can. No problem nice. at yeah. all. Just no problem yeah. at all. Looked like the cue ball was tracking towards the 10, but Marco, 3 2 in front. And he'll break the chance to get us to a shootout. That's when things get a little testy. You get to see it. We get to see it. Audience I get to see it. Well, you've seen it before. <laughs> I get to see it for the first time. <laughs> Put the heart rate monitors on us. It's almost like being a backseat driver, isn't it? You'd rather have the steering wheel in your hands. The players are probably 
a lot calmer than everybody else watching. Chang's had a lot of chances too. I mean, the miscue just in the last one of many that he's missed, opportunities that he's let out of his grasp. Now we'll see if Teutcher can show us one of his dynamic breaks. He's the only player that's given us a break and run out. We'd love one now. Five ball. Does he have a shot? Ah, tough to see from our angle. He can make it spin it in, right? It looks like yeah. it. I mean, he was quick back to his chair, grabbing his cue. Checking the shot clock. He needs to be the right side of this two ball. Needs that cue ball no. to run. No. No, he's tough. I wonder if he can swing it around. Does he have enough angle? Is he going to get that, uh, that energy from the cue ball to travel all the way around? He's trying. Whoa, chow. It's not. He was trying to draw that, trying to avoid contact. Yeah, he smacks the, the table with the cue. I wonder if there's going to be some warnings here from the referee. Jim. Yeah, a warning. No? <laughs> a warning to the cue maker, <laughs> <Yes>. too. <laughs> Did you commentate on the match in, in Cardiff when, when Earl played Steve Davis, didn't you? No. No, but I'll tell you what, I, I commentated the match in Holland where Earl busted his cue. Oh, yeah. Smacked it on the floor and yeah. it was in pieces. Commentated that one. Well, he was com he was playing, uh, what's his name, Japanese guy in Cardiff, I remember. When he said you <laughs> jump, <laughs> Takashi, remember that? <laughs> he took the, the, the jump cue, bring it up, <laughs> took it down. <laughs> the Earl <laughs> provided, yeah. Earl got him to, to unscrew his jump cue. <laughs> Be a man, play like a man, Earl said. So, the momentum switch over to Chang. Well, Chang will have the chance at 3-3. If he completes the clearance here, he'll be breaking to try and avoid the shootout. Well, he's been playing good this set. It's just that miscue, the last break. You know, where he... Well, he won the first set, 4-3. He's looking for a carbon copy because it's 3-3 now, and he'll mm -hmm. break... In the last rack of the set, so it's either going to be a 4-3 win to Chang to close it out, or it's going to be shootout time. This is the second table. There's two tables being streamed. I think it was a ladies' match on table number one. I'll be staying here. Marcus, you'll probably be shifting over to table number one, yeah, maybe. For I'm commentating Gomez, Superman's yes, game. That's He's the there. next <laughs> match to come on table number table number one. I think Marcus is going to slide over there. Man with the nice hair. Superman. He almost started to smile there. I wonder if he can... Uh, Let's get the earbuds in and listening. 
I was watching uh, the other day on, on a clip from, from Manila when he was in the final against Daryl Peach the other day. Yeah. They showed it in the highlights of the, of the in Facebook. Towards the end, it was 15, uh, 15 all. D do you remember that final? Uh, you I wasn't there, but I remember it. Oh, yeah. That was unbelievable. Unbelievable. The amount of balls uh, Gomez was, he went overboard. It was too much pressure for him in his home country. It was. And he, uh, you know. Yeah, that was a massive win for Daryl. Oh, yeah. Huge win. Well, he's having to look to see if he can slice this into the side pocket. It looks a little thin. You've got to adhere to the laws of physics. He'd love to be able to attack here. And the, the cube is going to run into the three, and he, he's hoping that he's going to get a shot. He's trying to, to read the three, where he's, what side is he going to get? Not too hard. It looks like he can cut this in, though, Marcus. He's trying to. Yeah, spin it in. Oh. oh, sweet. Got rewarded. What a chance. One of the four passes, he was looking at it. Obviously, if the four passes, it makes it a lot easier. That's what he's looking at, because he didn't want He wants to shoot it there. He doesn't want to shoot it the four in, a, in the lower left corner pocket. Wondering if you'll get another chance. Perfect. Starting to get the speed down as well. Getting the, the correct side of the balls where he wants to be. Well, this definitely does not have a full pocket, though. He missed another uh, another half a pocket shot from this pocket. But that was long time ago. Yeah, he's good. Can he roll it in or he's gonna come into the down and up? See what kind of yeah he's gonna either come into the six or draw it tad up and down. Like so. Did you have an easy out like this against Efren, Jim? <laughs> 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 and you left him off the, off the hook. Oh, how was it? <laughs> I can't believe you remember that, Marcus. Yeah, I remember. I never told you we're that good of a player. And I said, Jim is playing Efren. Ah, good for Jim. Then I heard everybody was going over to the table. Jim is hill hill with Efren. <laughs> Well, no reason for Chang not to complete the victory here. Nothing short of a glaring mistake is going to cost him this match. Let's see what he, if he wants to elevate his cue a little bit, come up, back and forth, okay. He needs an angle on this. A little bit of angle he's got. Perfect. Perfect speed. He's got speed down and this this to win this match. The very first opening match for Shang. Down Very first ten. opening match for us too, Marcus. Thank you, Jim. You bet. It was a pleasure. Well, listen, Marcus Shamati is going to head over and do one of the men's events on table number one. I'm going to stay put. And the ladies are going to be front and center on table number two here. Well, for Marcus Shamati, I'm Jim White. Hope you enjoyed it. It's going to be more coming your way from Puerto Rico. You won't want to miss it.